Hi, it's Brian from Clock Tower. I want to show you how to deploy the mitigation for uh, CVE 2022-30190, otherwise known as Folina. This is a vulnerability in Microsoft Office running on uh, Microsoft Windows computers that as of right now, there's no patch for. So um, this mitigation is uh, fairly important to get done. And the link to this page, this is Microsoft's official uh, um, guidance on this. The link to this page will be in the description of this video. So first of all, we're going to scroll down a bit to um, where it says workarounds on this page. And the thing that we want to do is uh, right here. It's these three steps. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run a command prompt as administrator. To do that, click the start button. You're going to start typing command and eventually you'll see command prompt pop up. Now if you have this little thing right here that says run as administrator, you can click that. Uh, some versions of Windows don't have that so you have to right click wherever it says command prompt and then do uh, run as administrator from here. Either way works. You might get a window that asks you, you know, is this really what you're trying to do? Um, and if so, just click yes. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to back up the registry key. So this involves making a change to the Windows registry, which is a uh, uh, pretty important part of Windows and you don't want to do this uh, uh, without some guidance. So we're going to run this command right here that's in the quotes. And you'll notice that the word file name is italicized and that means that that's not actually what we're going to put there. We're going to put a file name there. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to paste this in and uh, I did that with uh, control C and control V, uh, control V to paste it in. And I'm just going to backspace over where it says file name. And basically what this do is doing is it's running a command called reg um, and it's, it's telling that command to export this registry key. Um, make sure that it says that H key underscore classes underscore root backslash ms dash msdt. And we're going to give it a place to save it. So right, it's right now it's going to put it wherever this opened up. So this path C users, this happens to be my username on this computer. Um, and it's just going to make a file right in there. If you want, you can, and you know how to do it, you can change to your documents folder or something like that, or a temp file, or put it right on C. Um, but this is a fine place. We're just making a backup copy and say, in case, in case something goes horribly wrong. So I'm just going to call this, um, just, I'm going to call it CVE-2022-30190. Dot reg, R E G, and I called it that. Uh, you need the reg extension, um, the dot R E G, because that tells Windows what kind of file it is. And I called it CVE 2022 uh, 30190 because if I ever come across this file again and I say what on earth is that, I can just look that up and I'll I'll find I will find this um, and know why I did it. So I'm going to hit enter. And we should see that the operation completed successfully. Great. So that made a backup copy of that. And now we're going to do the, uh, the actual deletion of that key. And I'm going to copy everything between the quotes. Control C. And I'm going to paste it in here. Oop. Control V. All right. So we're running reg. We're telling it to delete this key. Um, slash F, I believe, means force it to happen. Um, I forget exactly what that means, but it doesn't matter. You just need to include it. Uh, we'll press enter. And there we go. The operation completed successfully. 
So now we can close this and we're done. So what that does is it prevents, um, it prevents Microsoft Office from being able to open certain links that are used in this exploit. Uh, so if that worked well, um, and you got uh, the command completed successfully for both those things, then uh, you're all set.